Hello there, this is the third part of the procedural belt generator. This is where we left off. We made the belt by creating a convex hull and then made these elements slide along. Set the speed to go faster or slower. And today we are going to make the wheels turn and we are also going to make the belt uh, that is below the elements turn by making a texture and making the texture slide along in the same speed that the elements go. So I did already a little bit of forework. Uh, what you need to do is you need the curve length. So if we go to viewer, see what we're actually doing. And then with shift, I cut this line. I need this curve. So the curve that we created from the uh, convex hull. Got it here to create a curve from the mesh and deleting the faces. So by getting this curve and getting the length, we multiply it by the speed. The speed we can set as value so then we divide it by the radius of the wheel so here you don't see anything moving but this go here we put eight you see that our wheels have less faces so you can see them turn and we should connect rotation. So we are rotating them in the Z axis. Here you can see Z makes them turn. Put it up to zero again. This one. So this uses the radius, uh, other radius, put that into rotation. And here we see that the wheels spinning direction of the elements also the correct speed so if we make them bigger we see that they also turn slower that's what this is doing create a frame this put it in there we don't need this viewer Point. Delete. So for determining the speed of the texture belt, we need this value from the divide, scene time divided by the speed. And we need a math node, and we set that to multiply. And then from here. We need a curve length. We need to plug that in at the bottom. So if we make another view, see is this curve, right? Yes, it is. Then it will output the right length. And then we can make here another output no we do it in the new system create a store store named attribute we can maybe plug it in here and then get value and then say speed now we stored a value which is the speed of the elements we can use that speed on the texture that we are going to do. But first, what we also need is to unwrap this belt. So if we go to the belt, this line, yeah, Command Z, this is the belt part that we generate. Here we need also to store some information. Uh, here we create the belt from two curves. 
we did before. What we are going to do is some attribute in between. We do a capture attribute put them in between these lines also need a curve parameter spline parameter use the factor this way we have the because the curve outline of the belt is one parameter and also the trace of the square that we use curve line or we use a curve line it's also a parameter if we combine them we have the uvs so combine x y z x y output this value store another value Vector Then we say belt UV. Now the UVs of the belt are stored. Go first we make a set material. Make a new material. In the geometry modes, choose it, so get that material, shading again, and see that now it uses that material only for the belt, and we need these attributes. So we have speed attribute, and we have belt UV. We now use a bottom texture, use the vector. Here we see that we have some values. Maybe we can use length instead of the vector here. this so now you see that we have a correct uv mapping shading click on the randomness color ramp set it to constant slide this value black dots so we can see uh, what happens if the texture slides you can uh, replace this Vorno by your own texture and then it will still work more back we can use a mapping by this mapping we have a location and by the location we can offset the location that's what we use the speed for so if we say combine XYZ in use the factor. Wasn't it X? Yes, timeline play it. What happens? Why doesn't it Did we set names correctly? Load. So I uh, made a little mistake, which was I put the store attribute speed with the elements, which is only uh, giving information about the elements and not about the belt. We want to store it uh, on where the belt is. Remove it from frame. Use the belt, but you can also put it behind. 
belt information is here. Take this value. Plug it in. And now it should be. There we go. We now go to speed. Set it to 100. We see that the speed is flipped. Now go and another multiply. And multiply it by minus 1. Then it will reverse. And now elements are aligned with the texture and you can just change the texture also still wheel then work so so there is one thing that we forgot and that is the turning of the wheels the speed of them they are not correct yet it's because I forgot to plug in the speed. If we plug in the speed, we see that they line up exactly. Also, if we now change the speed to 50, it lines up still. So, I hope you make uh, nice things with this tutorial. You know the principles now. You can keep on building in any way you want. Make more wheels, change the textures. Create your own layout, make some beautiful treadmills, machines. So I hope this was useful. Enjoy.